Hi, this video has taken me forever to make, but I wanted to make sure that I made it. It's gonna be all about my Highline Wigs toppers. This is the most recent one I have, which I probably have the most pictures up on Instagram, um, and it's my short one, but that, that, this was actually the last one I purchased, so I'm actually gonna take it off and show that one last. Um, and this is, again, my bio hair. I do have um, regrowth in small spots, uh, lots of regrowth. Um, but I also right now use L'Oreal touch-up spray to kind of cover all this area but I also just got another product that I'm going to review to see if that works so let's go ahead and begin this is the first Highline wigs topper I got last year that really just like changed the game for me it just made me fall in love with toppers um, I did buy a topper from another company before this and it was nothing compared to this so this was a I believe it was a yeah it was a 14 to 16 inch natural dark brown topper now it says like dark brown but like in the sun it comes off like very warm so it kind of looks like it has a little bit of a reddish undertone which my hair kind of doesn't um but this was also a 10 by 10 so it was huge and it was 140 percent density so it's really thick um i think i'm actually going to be selling this one only because i like the lighter hair right now um and i like my topper with bangs and I have another dark um, one coming from somewhere else, but I absolutely love this topper. Um, I just think someone else could love it too. Um, but then I also took off the comb and I didn't add two clips there. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me undo the clip. So yeah, this one is so big, so it has um, seven clips, which is really nice. But this honestly feels like a wig because it is so big. Um, and you can see what I'm talking about, how my hair is darker and not as light. Um, I think it's parted to the side right now, but that's okay. So I haven't worn this in a while, so it's not, um, not probably parted to my liking or anything like that. Okay. And because there are so many clips, it can like take a while. Um, and you don't have to part all of them. You could only part one, I mean a couple, you probably need to do more than one, but a couple, whatever it is, and you can stretch it down. So like it literally comes right there on my head, but this is the natural dark brown. And like I said, um, this one is 140%. So this one fits like a wig. Um, and I am selling this one and when I do sell it, if someone wants two clips at the front instead, I'm gonna, I'll add those for you there. Um, or if not, I can send the comb back to you and you can add the comb by yourself. But yeah, let me take it and show you. This is the natural dark brown. Again, I don't have it all the way up. Um, I don't have it properly done because I just didn't really have a mirror to do this, but this is 14 to 16 inch. As you can see, it is a ton of hair. So it is a ton of hair and um, not every company has the same density, but for Highline Wigs, her density probably has the highest that I've seen and the 140% from hers really is just like a wig. Um, so this again is from Highline Wigs. It has a silk top, so you can kind of part, part it anywhere around that silk area. Um, yeah, and this is the front. Um, and I haven't trimmed anything in the front. I haven't cut this piece at all. So you would probably need to do some thinning or maybe some bangs. Um, or you could have some hair out of the front, which I know I did whenever I used to wear this piece. But yeah, this is the first one. I'm gonna take this off. There we go. See how much hair that is? It's crazy. Woo, okay. The next one I got was 20 inches and it was a nine by nine. That one was a 10 by 10. This one was a nine by nine. And this one was in the color natural soft black. Now, um, not many people, you know, know this, but I actually had black hair or dye my hair black for years because I just thought that was like the sexiest and people kind of knew me with dark hair and I get very, very dark when I'm outside. And so I always felt like I looked exotic and the people I was with or married to at the time, whatever, liked dark hair. So it just kind of worked for me. But now it just feels so foreign to me and I feel so pale, especially because I'm not, um, I don't tan because I take care of my skin and stay out of the um, sun. 
but let me go ahead and put this one on. Now it's not like black black, it is black, but it has a little bit of a dark hue to it, but I'm just kind of finding that I like lighter, not as light as that topper, um, but let's see where I parted it. Right now it looks like it's kind of, we'll do a middle part. And again, with this one, um, I would pin my, hair, my, my bio hair up and wear a, a black extension under it so I wouldn't have that hair poking through. And I have videos on my Instagram of how I've done that. Um, okay, so this is the natural soft black and this one was 20 inches. I did have this one barely um, trimmed in the front to do some natural face framing layers. Um, and then trimmed a little bit on the end, so it's still probably close to 20, um, 20 inches, but probably maybe closer to 19, but still like really long. And because it is a nine by nine, that means that it'll, um, there you go. Because it's a nine by nine, that means that the hair, the cap comes down really much lower, so to like right there. So this is the natural soft black. And I used to love this color. This was my hair for years, um, except, you know, I was a lot darker skin tone wise, but um, yeah, so I really like this, this one. It's like a totally different person. Um, and a lot of people just assume, especially when I am outside or I get sun, that I'm Latina, but I am not. Um, but I have a lot of respect for my Latina friends and I love them dearly. Um, okay, so the next two, um, well, the next one that I got, okay, this one changed the game for me. This one was the first Lexi that I bought, and this one was also a 10 by 10, so it was huge, and it was the original Lexi color, I think, and I did recently try to cut bangs into it, and I haven't finished it, and I'm actually going to take it to a salon because I think I might do, like, full bangs, um, so I don't want to mess with it any further, but this one made me totally change my opinion and made me want to go to the light side and I also put two clips in the front and removed the comb on this one so I remember when I got this I was so unbelievably excited um I just I'd never had well even though my hair color when I was little was more golden but I had never had kind of like a hair color like this oh my bad not the typical YouTube video. Um, I'm like in the middle of trying to move and things, so the timing is just, you know, I don't have like a setup or anything like that or the space for that. But this is the first piece that literally blew me away. Um, and again, like I said, I'm cutting bangs. Um, I already started, I think I cut right here, but I haven't finished it. Um, and I haven't finished cutting these side bangs, but I love this one so much. Now this one is a 10 by 10. Again, like the first one, this was a 16 to an 18 inch and it's so much hair. And I don't have anything properly, like hair properly taken out or anything like that. This is just a quick, or well, it was supposed to be a quick video to just show you my pieces. Um, but yeah, it's, really nice and because you can see my short hair hanging out underneath I actually would just stuff this completely up into the cap because it's a 10 by 10 and it's so big I would just completely stuff my hair into the cap so none of my bio hair would be out and that works because it's a 10 by 10 cap um and I love it now this is a lot of hair it's a little too much for me to wear like day to day but I'm gonna get some bangs cut into it and I just love this piece so much this was the first Lexi that really made me like just change my idea about hair color okay. Now the next one who The next one I had two now the one of them um, Was the, the short one that I had on the beginning. That's like my everyday um, six, uh, 15 inch it's very similar to the Lexi, but it's a, a dark um, I'll have to check with Sharon because I know she always told me but it's a darker root and it goes to like an ashy caramel balayage this one was a six by seven they, they both are so that was kind of like my first time going to like a lighter cap with her and I did a lighter density so the density on um oh, that's middle the density on these two 
were I think like 120, 115, which was lighter and I really love that. And I like the smaller cap too. Now, the only thing I will say is, sorry guys, like I said, don't really have a setup. Um, now, the only thing I will say is because you can see my short hair poking um, underneath, what I will do when I wear this one is I will pin up my the hair that's underneath and then I will clip it to my head. I have a video on my YouTube and then I will put this hair extension over that. So I'll have like some hair like this kind of like poking through that will kind of look like my own hair. But yeah, this is um, another one of my favorites. I'm just kind of loving this color. I still feel kind of brunette because it's got like still kind of darker, but um, I will be selling the natural soft black one and the, the dark brown one. I love those pieces. I just, I have other pieces coming and I've kind of fallen in love with different colors now that I love a little bit more. Um, so I don't want to hold on to those pieces. I'd rather like pass them on, um, give someone else an opportunity to snag one. But yeah, I love this color um, so much. I love all of her pieces, but I just kind of wanted to show you the ones that I had before I did sell some of them. So yeah.